Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are the one, two, three. The Beer Rotters. And the first song we'd like to sing for you this beautiful sunny afternoon is By the Sea, By the Sea, By the Beautiful, wait for it, Sea. By the Sea, By the Sea, By the Beautiful Sea. In you and me, you and me, you're happy we'll be. Come on. That will make people scared. You who will die. You'll see the sea. By the sea, by the sea, by the sea. You have more time. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. And you and me, you and me, oh, how happy we'll be. Away, each away, ever alone. So we will start to sing and float and pool around the world. Is this Speedy? Here we are again. Hi, Mr. Speedy. Hi, how are you? How are you? This is Speedy. Ah, hello, Mr. Speedy. Hey, how are you? Hello, Mr. Speedy. Hello, Scotsman. Sleep well, Uncle. Yeah, all right. Um, <clears throat> Gacko makes funny noises. <laughs> now, Gacko, what do you own? Do you <clears throat> own a London Price or a gilt-edged Forex? Uh, kind of a London Prices, Uncle. What? Well, there's an investment trust section. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Can we have some away. milk, please, Uncle? <laughs> Oh, yes. This is Speedy. Good morning, Good morning, Speedy. Yeah? Did you sleep How well? Are you? Did you? I slept well. Did you How notice that the standard stair lift was still at the bottom of the stairs? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> mm, right. I think I like the small seaside resorts best. Places where we can make a really strong impact. You can turn a small world upside down for a weekend. I like being with groups of people. I like kind of being in tribes and being around. I like being around. I wouldn't be very good at being on a desert island. I like people, I like people around. We have to do. You have to switch the machine on. I sometimes think it's not that unakin to how other blokes would maybe play football or cricket or have some other thing that takes them away on mass. I think it's it's a similar sort of outlet. <laughs> were we playing yesterday? Yes. You were playing My partner, Sue, she understands perfectly well why I'm doing this, why I need to do it. It's the time of year where everybody's with their partners, with their families, and here I am, you know, being a, a bachelor lad at the age of 38, going off to Bexhill and Sea, um, you know, to, to dress up in strange costumes. <laughs> Basically, we don't need to be out um, until two. Yeah, what, two. So we're doing two till four, and then a five o'clock show. Fine. Anyway, it's all on your gig sheet. You'll be pleased to know. Is it? All right, then. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Miss Speedy. Thank you, Miss Speedy. Thank you, Miss Speedy.
ourselves the pier rotters after the rotting West Pier in Brighton. We saw ourselves as being a bit like the West Pier, really, something that was part of the faded grandeur of Britain, still standing, looking magnificent, but maybe a little bit uh, rusty around the edges. We like to see them play with our songs and funny stories. We'll take your blues away. I was destined to go into the shipyard. You know, I hadn't been really much out of Barra um, when I started hanging around with the Pierrots, and they just used words that I didn't even understand. They were all kind of well-behaved and PC and, and all that kind of... And I actually wasn't. I was still kind of a viz reader and, <laughs> and a bit of a swearer. And, um, yeah, I didn't think I was going to fit in. When I'm in school, you know, I sometimes desperately want to be a hero, and I think of that, you know, I think of the weekend, think of the chance to just get rid of my teacher mask uh, and, and be able to dress up in pom-poms and be a bit silly. But I'm caught between the two. I took a change of direction right at the end of the 80s and at the start of the 90s. I ended up as... Um, I suppose what, for simplicity, you would call a fund manager, which is somebody that invests a, a pot of money. I'm not going to be in the Times 100 rich list, but in the context of the Pierrotters, it has made me a wealthy guy. I see myself as an anarchist, really. Quite activist in the 80s. I went on all the main kind of leftist marches, anti-apartheid, anti-Nazi league, CND. I love the idea that no one will know that that is the person who turns into a Piero performing light songs in the 20s and 30s and making children laugh. And that fascinates me. It's like having a secret mission. We create a period of misrule. We create a time where everything and anything could happen, which is what the seaside was always meant to be. It was, it was where everything turns upside down. That people take all their clothes off at, at the beach. People wear funny hats at the beach. People... People try things out at the seaside first off, and, and it's so appropriate because actually the, the sea covers it all up, and, and then it goes away and it's wiped everything clean again. Piero was a character from the Italian comedy, um, which is a kind of medieval performance. Is the silent clown, very fey, very wistful, the long sleeves, the white face, the skull cap. And then sometime, it's thought, in around 1890, somebody, an entrepreneur, literally, took the character, created a Piro troupe, and put them at the British seaside. Up until that time, the performers have been itinerant performers, sort of blacked-up minstrels, uh, for me on the beaches. All right, boys, are we going to sing a song or what? We're doing a show tonight at 5 o'clock for an hour over there, and this is a taster. It's called Istanbul. Oh, one, two, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, be there, I'll be square. The happening thing in Bexhill. How are you doing? Are you coming to the show tonight? And you don't know. You know and I, don't you? Hero troops would perform, well, three or four times a day quite often. One of the key times, obviously, was um, the end of the afternoon when people are coming off the beach, about to go home for their supper. Oh, for those of you from Germany.
Germany, the 1, 2, 3. The Deep Here Rotten. Also, those of you from further afield, the Killing Pulu Saba. What a knob. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Fluence Van Dinka for you there. I thank you. Pyro troops were famous for their costumes, for their beautiful ballet slippers, for their white costumes, their black pom-poms, their beautiful makeup, and of course, our conical hats. Ah, so that's why we're dressed like this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Before the last war, there were 500 Pyro troops performing all over Britain, but now we are the last one left. <laughs> Look how sad we are about that. That's very sad, ladies and gentlemen. More sad than the local town council. Four Peter Otters, ladies and gentlemen. All of them are going for a walk to clear their heads. Uh, going for a walk to the garden shed. Uh, going for a walk to buy some bread. Going for a walk to dance with Fred. Going for a walk to clear my head. Going for a walk to the garden shed. Going for a walk to buy some bread. Going for a walk to dance with Fred. Going for a walk, whatever we said. I've always loved songs of the 20s and 30s, songs that everyone can sing about emotions that everyone can identify with, no matter who they are, what position they are in the class system of Britain. These things are universal and they bring people together. And that's uh, what music does to me at its most profound level. It brings people together. And that's what the Pierrotters do. Indeed, it is a fine afternoon. And as I stroll along here, looking at how wonderful you all look. Oh, madam. Oh, madam. Oh, boys. I think I've fallen in love again. Not, Not again, again, Mr. Mac. No, 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 no. It's a real thing this time. Yes, but you always say that, Mr. Mac. No, 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 but I, I feel it deep in my bones this time. Madam, what is your name? Laura. M Laura, would you do me the favor of standing up and showing how beautiful you are today? <laughs> oh, please. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Laura. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Absolutely. My thoughts exactly. Ah, come to the front, my darling. And we shall enjoy dancing cheek to cheek. And then we'll dance facing each other as well. We're going to have a wonderful time watching the sun go down. I really love Laura. I'm for her. Ah, yes. Laura, have you ever danced with anyone quite like me before? Do you think you're going to do it again? Yes, she might. Ah, uh, many nights of pleasure lie ahead, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell. But Laura, above all, I just want to say tonight that you are so lovely. Never, never change. Leave that breathless charm. Won't you please arrange it for I love you just the way you look. So your, your tummy's all right now, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the obvious symptom, yes, yes, I'm fine. You're not going to fart every 30 seconds for the rest of the evening. I don't know. Yeah, it certainly gave the, an interesting atmosphere to the performance. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Oh, Keating. 
Oh, well, is there anything else, huh? <laughs> Through the twilight, I can hear the humming hum of a melancholy Teasing me about being Scottish was always something that the boys felt that they could nail me with. So they kept singing Flower of Scotland, which, uh, you know, whilst I gladly sing that song, I get a bit tired of it being shouted at me the whole time. So I, I, st I started saying, if you do that again, I'm going to do something outrageous. So I decided I took my trousers off, I think, in some public situation. For the memories that still linger. I got married a couple of years ago to my lovely wife, George. She's beautiful. She's a real corker. Uncle Taco gave us a reading, actually. He, he read um, a sonnet from Shall I Compare Thee to a Summer's Day. And then we had an hour to kind of eat and stuff, and then I had to go off and, um, and get the slap on because the Piros were doing a turn. It was a storming set. We were only supposed to do a half an hour, and I think we did an hour and a half in the end. My wedding video is mainly about heroes no <laughs> it's not about me and George though to remind me oh my I feel so Did all right today. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're lucky with the weather. Well, we always bring the weather. We're lucky with the weather all again. Mm. We picked up a lot of people. Mm. How many were there, Punk? You think? Between two and three hundred. Mm. That's pretty good. How much did we take? One hundred and twenty-eight quid. Very good. Yeah, wasn't bad. One. Is Less that than five or twenty, though. Mm -hmm. What's the most that we've ever taken? In about 150. But that was busking all day. You've got to deinflate mm. it as well. I beg your pardon. You've got to work out where you are as well. If you're on the south coast, you'll get Ten more. years ago. Mm. Remember yeah, we, we got that, that money in um, Poland? Yeah. Or the million Jalotti. <laughs> 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 million Jalotti <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the video? Of <laughs> Look at these poodles. What? Poodles. Nice this poodles. poodles. They've got pom poms on there. Nice toes. poodles, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. Well, oh, chips. Hey, chips. Chips. Our chips. Yeah. What are you doing? You caught anything? Well, I'm catching fish to go with it. Good luck. Sling it over here then. Here's one here. Yeah. If you Good catch luck. any batter as well, give us that. Yeah. <laughs> Your onion rings would be nice. You yeah. Catch a bag of tatty flakes and that. Hey. Hey. Why, hey. If you catch me a lamb corner.
go back where the wild waves roar. I'm kind of uptight with you. Actually, realise the power of how the mask looks and looks and what it gives you. It makes us all look very alike. It makes it very hard for people to recognise individuals. There's a kind of almost a corporate identity that it gives us. The pier has certainly changed my life. Um, in in a huge way, actually. I'm a, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of confidence from it. Everybody has, sh you know, shit to deal with in their lives. And um, it's like therapy in a way. I've never laughed so much in my life as when I'm with the Piros. I, even when I was a kid, I don't think I laughed as much as I do when I'm with the Piros. It hurts sometimes and it must be good for you, laughing. There's a confusion of, of still being partly teacher and um, partly disapproving of, of the fact that everybody's <laughs> everybody's letting go and there's, there's part of me that's standing back saying you're silly little boys and of course the other part of me is, is relieved to be able to actually have an excuse to be a silly little boy I don't have uh, a wife or a family um, I'd like to be a father one day I've never really uh, had a close relationship with a child at all. I've never grown up with one. We see ourselves in kids, I'm sure. We see where we've come from. I find the same looking at people who are in their last days as well, people who are really quite old, that you, we see where we're going to. Hill, all the way through until uh, Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. And we're here and we do a little bit during the afternoon, then we do a whole show in the evening. And we invite everybody that we meet to come and see us. Yeah. The last troop that's left. So it's nice for all the kids to see us, and all the grandparents and all the folks. Well, you're we're there. doing the show at uh, Delaware? Yeah, in the pavilion yeah. outside, in the yeah. sunshine. Sit yeah. in deck chairs, eat your ice cream, oh, have a cup of tea. Yeah, we're coming Just a job, eh? Yeah, lovely. Just for an hour and see all sorts of nonsense and fun in us. It's our 16th summer season. We come here every year now. It's lovely. By the beautiful sea. Lovely. Thank you. Very Again. Not again. Throw up to clear my head. Go over all up to the garden shed. If the pier rotters were to stop, it'd be interesting to see what would happen. I think the pier tradition would stop because no one else has come along in the last 16 years to follow us. Have you had a good time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
Well, sadly now, sadly the time has come for the Pier Otters to wend their way home. Oh. Oh. Two of the group are, are now married. Two of us are engaged. You know, and this is a suddenly higher level of commitment than before. Not to mention children. You know, it's a reality, right? Now is the time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. It was a very hard thing to let go of because it, it gives me a, a great deal of pleasure. It's very unique, you know, it's very special. And it addresses part of me that, that allows me to be something that, um, that I need to be. Now is the time to yield a sound. I want the Peros to be like the Marx Brothers. I want it to be that big. I'd like it to be huge. I want to be remembered for being Gacko. Now is the time to win away. I'd like to continue doing the Peros until, you know, I can't. I could be wheeled out, all of us kind of out, coming out on Zimmers. But I'd like to be able to, to just keep going. Boys and girls, you've been watching the one and only, the Pier Rotters. That is oh, yeah. Squacko, Macko, Macbacko, Gacko, and yours truly, Uncle Tackle. But I'll find someday A place in the sun where the tempest moans And when my life's done I can rest my bones Way down yonder with old Davy Jones Among my deep sea blues